I always make sure that the story that I'm telling is impactful. It's always answering the simple question, why should people care? Political uh, killings, it's, um, it's a reflection of a post-apartheid society that's poisoned. Okay, good. Yeah, because I was watching all your movements. Okay. Yeah, and I, I know that you didn't sleep. You didn't sleep at all. You didn't all. sleep yesterday. You slept yes. at, I think, 6 o'clock, 7. Yeah. Honey, <laughs> how are you? Are you not tired? Goodness. I am. Um, For how long are you gracing us? And no, I'm, I'm out of here tomorrow. I can't leave. The, the province will burn. I know. <laughs> I'm gone for two weeks. <laughs> I started working in KZN in 2017. I've always really been the moving office. I play dual roles, so I'm both a reporter and I'm bureau chief. So, Rusty Rasmus is naming his Springbok side today. So, that's taking place at Supersport at 1 o'clock. So, yeah. I wonder what's happening in KZN. There's a lot happening. So, today it's a big trial kicking off with the uh, Cleveland's. Um, there's eight people appearing, including a police senior police officer who used to work at the Durban Central Police Station in Dweshu. But the main story here is not only the trial, but I was recently in touch with my people at Cleveland's, and there's a new hitman who just moved in like a month ago. It's almost like a let's wait and see who's next. Politics in KwaZulu Natal is very securitized. Almost every politician, doesn't matter which party you belong to, you need to have a bodyguard. That's us in KZN, and of course, other stuff that crops up as we go along. Two hundred and fifty six messages. I never intended to become a journalist. It was a career that I always tell people it chose me. Hi, Mervyn, how are you? I'm fine, thanks to yourself. Yeah, we can talk. But how many people were affected by this alleged stealing of land? I really wanted to start covering politics, like just to get a sense of, of what it was like if I really cut my teeth into it. And I discovered this like passion for it that I didn't even know existed. I started working in KZN at a time when it was just literally almost every week I was covering the murder of a politician. And it wasn't something that was necessarily getting attention, but then I realized that this has to become bigger, that people need to know about this. I've worked so hard to make the province part of the, the national agenda.
playlist are we putting on today? House, no? Yeah. Do I have that? <laughs> when I moved down here in 2017, I realized that strange things seem to happen to cases. Dockets going missing or witnesses actually ending up being killed in some cases until like the, the, the killing of Cindy Somakako, which then brought the issue into sharp focus. Uh, Mike, I think is in here. What's in done? I want to ask her yeah, if these yeah. are her own personal bodyguards or if these are the ones provided by the state. So, what things can we talk to you about? What can't we talk to you about? I don't want to delve too much into any, like, in those Oksafa, we keep a manje with trial for October. As long as the cases are on, yeah. still I am under threat. Mm. But you right, I'm trauma. Young irritate, man, can give sound like a loud bang. Yes. Get hooked. Is it? I'm full of But they questioned in the end, They questioned in. What's in the fire? Tina? Where were we? But what did they see us? Champagne and Archie and Sugar Man. The ones I look at in the house and go back bang at home. Some person with whom I was to go to Yas, one and I yas, one to go Yas. They know that you know that it's them. Yeah. When you had Now, two Umzim Kulu councillors who were in the same car as former ANC Youth League Secretary General Cindy Somagaga on the day he was assassinated believe the masterminds behind the hit are still roaming free. Jazianda Ngobo in KZN has the story for us. So, we should choose a starter from Langena Konimoto. And then what happened? Nailenge Moto. So I was praying him like a Praying and praying, praying. The people that you believe are responsible, you yeah, like? Yeah, we believe that they are around us, everything. We believe like that. How's that? As long as there's still the mountain in the back, because that's what I want. I know you are one hit wonder, so over hit by trucks. Ah. In the same position that you are in, can you step this way? Three, two, one, and rolling. The two councillors have turned down being placed in a witness protection program ahead of the trial, saying they refuse to abdicate their duties in the wards that they serve. The pair say they still draw strength from the life of Cindy Somagaka, and his death was not in vain. Leblens is almost like 
a visible depiction of the inadequacies or the failures of the state. There's so many people who were killed and really the thing is who was behind it. <laughs> okay. That's what. Yes. What happened? Baby, what happened in Bezo Shala? 2015. Yes. I need to just intimidate one more person now and then. For what? I was just later. And yes. I was just Basha and Jela. Baby, for now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. I was no more corner, and we're in a commission calling in the way you I'm a politician, I figure likely plans as of Funan J. Inc. and before in seven. So, go a year's or learn to a year's. Unemployment rate, he pays on a floor. So, how figure me? I was a bit now to fifty thousand rand in hard cash. If you be better, Pam, why the guys would go and kill for you? Would be better on the one I have a year of my. By that happened, eh, Pam. Do you know? So, Naman, the Champokna Banta Maglale. Please. In the Which means when a Banya band is official, as it is those five as Abantu Bab, Abna opposition party, ANC Hong, the hostel. My boy, number two, but Tabanga, Abantu Bab. So we turn in Jabu, the corner at the end of the echo, as as of the world. Hello, 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 Okay, Yes. What happened? What happened? to 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 Yes. Manje when is that to muta bangaje? what to 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 Julia, I'm full of camber monk, caught one jay, and I wish you go back on my calls, the money, Sabisa, Trouser to Trula, Yamper, Okuma, Kule, Bedan, Chenese, Lubekum, Tom Fornella, but also Bazum Bullard. Eh, Ubenzani, and Impilweniak, and a same Fagella me. I right <laughs> Why? Cat was I Managing it in the about interview and So that is it is Timbele, the same two legged Yeah, 
I'm very passionate about journalism and I, I throw myself 110% into whatever I do. But then I detest sometimes how demanding it is of every aspect of me and my life. There's so much to do, so many stories to tell. You just never get the, the rest time that, that you need. So, I'll tell so all much for Thank you. <laughs> Who are you dating? Dude, who am I dating? No, mm. man. I'll tell you about my health. I was so tired. Like, I was always tired. Even, like, I'd go to gym, like, zero in it. Like, just always exhausted. There was a day, I was at a story, I collapsed twice in one day. What do you mean collapsed? Like, fainted twice in one day. Yes. Then they were like, do you want to go to a hospital here or Durban? So I was like, no, mm. I'd rather go back mm -hmm. home. I get to the doctor's office and I literally collapsed at the doctor's office. Wow. Yeah. So who commissioned this new book? No, we're talking about you. We're not talking about me. Do you think at some stage it's worth writing one. a book on political killings? Like everyone's like, when are you writing a book? But I'm like, you can't just write a book. What I'm looking for is to get a bodyguard who doubles up as a head with you. Yo, because uh, most of the bodyguards double up as hidden in a family. Yes. It's but that it's kind of thing. West out there, hey, in case it is. Yeah, we're like, used you to... you worry uh, about it, like a personal... I don't think, I don't think so. I, no, I don't think we're targets, that's why. Just don't be um, ignorant about it. Because, I mean, when I was younger, I, I used to have this invincibility. You know, I used to think that... I'm a journalist, it's like a, a form of a bulletproof vest. Katie always used to literally say to me, you've got to wear the bulletproof vest. Yeah. And I refused. Because for me, it would be a sign of weakness. Uh, you know? But now that I'm older, I'm like, uh, that invincibility wears off. It's not easy to ask people to continuously talk about the things that hurt them. Especially with a case like Cindy Somagaka's where there's just still a lot of unanswered questions. You don't want to feel like you're exploiting someone's pain, even though it's through just trying to make sure that the story doesn't die. Hello? I'm going from Newsroom Africa. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to go to Oh, okay. So I'm going to go to Okay, I'm going to go to All right, bye. I think the assassination of Cindy Sumakaka is what really made people say, what the hell is going on there? But it's not one person. There's a much larger context to it, like deterioration of the moral fiber of society as well. We could tell you meetings, <laughs> I'm a 
What was happening? So you are going to go to Yeah, I want to go to the house. Yo, in Scottishona, at Tujula, he was still busy. Yeah, he was still busy. I'm a contractor, they were on site. Ngojo, umuzwa ko na ola? Ola. Ola umuzwa. Ola awa kumuzla. Sasha lanje last ilo last day aga ko ngai kumbolo. Last day is day no kshala na. Same no abega kulo si shege sasheli. So you miss him a lot. Oh, we are missing him a lot. Ja lo shes kun manga. Ugo no abe ko tushes si chasi tiazo ko tushes chwa hamba no chabula we. So Nje is standing here, Kupshum. Kupshum, Boba Kupshum, Kupshum. the basics and then whatever else is needed I can come back and finish. Oh yes, yeah. My parents do worry about the risks that come with the job, but I think they've seen the amount of passion that I have. Like you actually just can't stop me once I've started. How's it? Um, what angle are you looking at? Government m makes political killings possible. So they said social development failed. It took many municipalities. Yes. Failed. Uh, They've created an environment where for this to yes, for people to die. Okay, cool. I think it will feed into the angle that I was just speaking about in the diary meeting that actually it's now become an industry to deal with unemployment at Cleveland. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cool. See you later, Matt. Bye-bye. The trial of the so-called Glibland's aid has been postponed. I'm joined by Newsroom Africa's KwaZulu Natal Bureau Chief, Zianda Ngobo, who is in studio with us this afternoon. So share with me then, Zianda, the experience, your experience of covering issues around the violence, the killings uh, at Glibland's hostel. Um, you also have been tracking other political killings, including the killing of Cindy Somakaka. But talk to me about Glebelands itself. Glebelands has now become almost a business. Um, the business of killing and, and hitmen has become so prominent because of the high levels of unemployment. You know, death is always um, a heartbeat away. Literally, death is a heartbeat away. I mean, this whole network that's said to have involved uh, policemen, it's said to involve politicians. Uh, during the Moirani Commission of Inquiry, we had heard that Glebelands was a place where politicians go shopping for hitmen. And the problem here, Tula Cizu, is the weapons that are used for these assassinations are not legal. They're not traceable. These weapons are either um, stolen or they, they go back as far as the armed struggle. I'm so tired of the killings in this province. But I don't really get disillusioned. I don't think there's even much luxury of time for that. But I always get scared I'm just going to fall apart. So that's why I always just keep going, like keep going, keep going until you can't stop. You can't like start a story like Cindy Somakaka and then lose steam halfway. 